Hey guys, welcome to today's training video where we will go over the new integration that we have with Shopify product catalog and the WhatsApp native e-commerce. So when having a Shopify store and you want to use that inside of your WhatsApp native e-commerce, then you will need to do a few things in order to make this working inside of YouChat. So the first thing that you will need to do inside of your Shopify store is go towards the sales channels and install the channel Facebook and Instagram. As you can see, for us, it's already installed. But for you, you can just install the app, then walk through the individual steps. As soon as you have done that, you will have a connected product catalog created for you with all the Shopify products inside. A few things to note because some users might experience some issues on the product catalog side where Facebook mentions that these products are not valid. A few things to check inside of your products environment. So if we go towards products, you will need to have a certain description inside. If a product is being uploaded without a description, then Facebook might reject the product itself. Then also important is that you have squared images. So Facebook, for some reason, prefers squared images. So a 1080 by 1080, for example, should do the trick just fine. So if you have done that, then the products should be integrated and synced properly between your Shopify store and the Facebook product catalog. Now, soon as you have done that, then it is time to also synchronize the product catalog with YouChat. The reason for this is we need to have the retail IDs, so the product IDs basically from Shopify, in order to be able to create an order on Shopify soon as a user wants to check out on the WhatsApp native e-commerce. So the way to sync your product catalog with YouChat is by going towards your workspace, go towards integrations, go towards the e-commerce section, then Facebook business, and then you will need to connect your account. We are already connected and if we say list business catalogs and when connected properly you will see all your available business catalogs connect the one that you created and synced with shopify and then you will be good to go now if we go inside the flows we set up for you so we prepared a template for you with these six flows and you can download that by going towards the link in the video description now let's start with the main shop front the way it, this works, as you can see, is just three notes. We just have an introduction message where the user can start shopping. And then it is important to get the products. You can find this action by going towards the action block, then go towards e-commerce and say get products. Once doing so, you will be able to fetch products by category. And for example, we just added two categories as we have electronics. And we also have women's wear. As you can see here, these uh, categories are being synced from the Facebook product catalog and are actually categories inside of your Shopify store. So all of those will be synced. The most important part when getting the products that you will map this value. So comma separated of matched SKUs. As you can see, we just added in like this. So the first one will be electronics and we are going to save that towards the retail ID custom field. And the other one, as you can see here, has the topic product type of women. And we are going to save that towards the women products ID. Soon as you have set this up, you need to take a few things into account because there are limitations towards the WhatsApp multiple products node. WhatsApp only supports up to 30 different kinds of products inside of a single node. So you need to take into account when getting the products, right? That you will not fetch more products than a total of 30. So what you could do, for example, is filter and limit the amount of products that you receive back um, by 10 or 15 or 20 of one category and then the second category you will need to adjust it to make it a total of 30. so that is the limitation of the whatsapp multiple product note that you will need to come up with a total of 30 products in total so if we go inside of this whatsapp model multiple products if we go and edit this then you will need the facebook catalog id and as you can see you can fetch this by going with this description as you can see, this can be retrieved via the Commerce Manager. And the catalog ID, if you have synced your Shopify store, 
should also be displayed under the sales channel. So if we go towards sales channel, you should also have your product catalog ID directly here. So you can just copy and paste this inside of a bot field and then use it inside of actions as we have done here. So this is just the bot field. Then we have some header, we have uh, a body, we have a footer, and then we have two sections. You can have up to five sections if you like to, but just keep in mind that the limitation of 30 products is still in place. As you can see under the sections or under the product retail, uh, retailer IDs, you can see that we have use comma separated for multiple product IDs up to 30 products for all sections. So not for a single section, but this is for all the sections combined. Uh, because otherwise you will get an error message inside of your error log that the parameter is not valid and that is due to having too many products at the same time. So just keep that in mind and it should work properly. Once you have done that, you can basically show the shop environment towards the user. And of course, inside of this template, we are just going to fetch the products uh, as an example. But what you could do in between the introduction message and the action node is to ask the user to select the categories they want to view. So if, for example, they want to view the watches category, you can, for example, just fetch all the products matching that product type watches and then display it inside of the WhatsApp multiple products. So that is a step that you can do as well. You could also, of course, have a back to main menu button. So let's say back to main menu. And basically what this will do is you can redirect this back towards the question block for asking the category or just go back towards the introduction message, which we will set up right now. Once a user uh, has basically chosen the items to put in his card and they want to forward the order, then we are going towards the next step. And the next step is will be the WhatsApp order complete. So if we go here, you will see that we have a trigger on the starting step and that is the WhatsApp order received. So we get the order details from WhatsApp and this is the trigger that is, has been set up. As you can see here, you can access the order details from the system field order. So we can just map everything from that order system field as we need to. As you can see here, we're going to load the card items from that specific JSON field. So if we go inside, you'll see that we have a JSON field card items and we're going to fetch that from the value JSON value of order system field. Then we are going to format this into a format that Shopify understands to create a draft order. And as you can see, this will be the format that we will get, right? So the quantity, the retailer ID, the product, and the variant ID. If we say test function, then you will see that we get the retailer ID and the quantity back. And this is also the format that we need to create a draft order with multiple products inside of Shopify. We're going to save this towards an order items custom field. And then from here, we're going to create a draft order for multiple products. If we take a look here, there's not much here, just the note will contain the user NS to, for easy reference lookup. And then we also have the variant ID list, right? That we just formatted with the JSON note and that will be inside of this value, as you can see here. We're going to map two values, which will be the draft order invoice URL and the draft order ID. We need both of them. One will be to let the user pay and the other one will be to keep track of the order ID itself. Once done, we are going to go with the block, just press below to complete your payment. So they can either say complete the payment, right? So they are going to press this button and then when the button is pressed, they will go towards the payment URL that we just mapped from the Shopify draft order creation. If they say, I want to change, then we are going to delete the draft order. And here is where the draft order ID comes into play. Because if we take a look here, we need the draft order ID to delete the draft order because there are going to be changes made towards this specific order itself. The next step would be to redirect the user back towards the starting step to show the products themselves. If the order has been placed, 
we are going towards the next step. And the next step will be the order completion, right? So if we go towards the order completion, you will see that we have two starting triggers. We have a starting trigger for Shopify when an order has been created for cash on delivery. And then we will save the payload inside the order created JSON. And we also have an basically a Shopify webhook for the order created by credit card. And we're going to map the exact same inside the JSON system, uh, JSON custom field. Then we will need to go and format the line items. And as you can see, this will be the sample data and we need some individual data points here as well. As you can see, current subtotal price, current total discounts, total tax, basically this will generate your order receipt and we can map that towards a tax custom field. We're also going to map the entire array that we get back towards uh, an order completion receipt JSON. So if you want to do something with that, you can do so as well. If we press save, then we will have the display order receipt and we have a really simple message in place. Thank you for shopping with us, first name. Below you will find your order details and then you will have your order receipt directly here. It could also happen that a user abandons their card and we also have a trigger set up for that. So if we take a look here, then you will see that we have a Shopify webhook trigger called card abandonment. And once this is triggered, then we will save the webhook payload inside the card abandoned JSON. This webhook is automatically triggered after 30 minutes. So keep that in mind that an abandoned webhook will be triggered after that time. So if you want to wait for a longer period of time, what you could do then is also insert an action block with a smart delay as well to extend the time of 30 minutes. Then we will go with another JavaScript function where we will basically go and format the line items that the user left inside, the, inside of their cart. We're going to display that. So send abandoned card message. So it's really simple. It seems you left in a hurry, first name, and forgot a few items in your card. We're going to display the line card items, and then we can save them for another 60 minutes. So be sure to claim them before we release them again. If you do so, you will get a 50% discount directly added to your order. So this is a little bit of incentive to also recover abandoned cards as well, and still have that conversion going. So if they say get discount, we are going to apply the discount to the draft order that we have. So you can customize this entirely to your own liking, right? So we have a discount type of percentage of 15. You can basically play around with the numbers or if you want to go with a fixed amount, that is also possible. So you can customize this towards your own liking. We just set it to a 15% discount. Then we will have the draft order invoice URL that we are going to map again towards the payment URL uh, text field. And then we are going with this message. We have applied the discount for you first name, just press the button below to claim it now. And then they will go back towards that checkout section. If for some reason the discount could not be applied, then we have an error message, something like, it seems the discount has already been applied previously. Do claim it by pressing the button below and then we still give the checkout link as well. So that is the abandoned card flow. Then we also have an order cancel flow. So if the order has been canceled for any kind of reason, we also have a trigger set up for that. So as you can see, we have a Shopify webhook trigger for order canceled. We're going to save that payload inside the order cancel JSON. And what we are going to do is then your order has been canceled. If you need, you can check the status below. So if they want to check the status of their canceled order, they can do so by just pressing the button. And once going towards this button, basically what will happen is they will go towards the order status URL. So if the order has been canceled, we can also display a message inside the chatbot directly. Then we also have the order fulfillment. So as soon as the Shopify store has fulfilled the order, we also have a Shopify webhook for this. So if we take a look at the Shopify webhook for order fulfilled, we will save the webhook payload towards that specific JSON field, and then we will give this information. So we want to let you know, we just prepared your order, and then the order number will be displayed. You can follow your order status by pressing the button below. So if we say track my order, they go towards the order status URL page. 
to basically have an order overview to see what the current status is and if there is a shipping or tracking number involved it will also display on that same page so let's test this whole template out so let's go and open the main shop front and let's see if we can do a little bit of shopping so let's open in whatsapp and let's see what we get so let's start the flow we'll get the introduction message the starting message and then from here we can say start shopping then we will get the native whatsapp e-commerce section right there we go so it takes a few seconds to load and then we can say view the items you will see that we have a section for electronics and below we have a section for women's wear so let's go and say we're going to add this one an iphone case and let's say add to cart one is enough let's also do tetris add to cart perfect and then let's do a watch so let's go with this one and let's say we're going to add that towards the card as well if we press the card details now you will see that we have this overview we can also adjust it and you will see the pricing nicely be adjusted as well you can also remove it if you like to then we just have two right and we can say send to business if we do so then the trigger will happen and we will generate the payment link for shopify so if we press this then we'll go towards the Shopify store and we'll be able to check out. So let me just fill in all the details and we'll come back to you. So let's press the button pay now and let's see what kind of message that we get back from Shopify. So your order is being processed and we get the confirmation here. And now we get the confirmation as well inside of your WhatsApp chatbot. So you will see, thank you for shopping with us. Below you will find your order details and then we have a nice formatted order receipt. So we have the uh, basically the products right the line items with the subtotal any kind of discount applied any tax and then the total amount as you can see this works perfectly so if we go and head over towards the shopify store so let's go there right now and take a look at the order let's go with this one and let's say we're going to make this fulfill the items so let's just fulfill the items right so let's go fulfill items can also say we are going to add a tracking number so let's see if we can fold the system into some kind of shipping carrier let's go and then say fulfill items and let's see if we get a message back inside of whatsapp there we go and now we should get a message back hey mark we wanted to let you know we just prepared your order and then this is the order id you can follow your order status by pressing the button below. So if we go towards this order status, then we will go towards the order view. You will see that we have a tracking number. Then you can view it directly from this page and you will see all the shipping or the order details, the order status as well, right? So your order is confirmed. We accepted your order and getting it ready. Come back to this page for updates on your shipping shipment status. We have the tracking number. And we can also say get shipping updates by email. So the user can log in to receive new updates soon as a new status has been put on their package. So this is the new Shopify slash product catalog slash WhatsApp native e-commerce integration that UChat came up with. It provides a really smooth experience to manage all of your products inside of your Shopify store, then sync it towards product catalog and in turn also sync it with UChat to be able to provide a WhatsApp native e-commerce. Again, it is important to sync the product catalog with uh, UChat in order for us to be able to receive all the retail IDs, the product IDs that are needed to generate the draft order inside of Shopify. So try it out. The template will be listed down below in the video description. And if you have any questions, do let us know. For now, have fun, have a great day, take care, and we'll talk to you really soon.